Good morning, guys. Um, getting the kids off to school, and they're a little sad. Went looking for his game. April's going to the gym, working on her fitness. What happened? Maybe. Well, uh, my friend Bill. Well, she was gonna go, but she was. I'll just go like, jogging then. I think I will. I'm gonna go jogging. The contest is on. January. You know, it makes me want to go to the gym, but it's a hard class, and I don't. Just go jogging. Jogging's hard. Okay. All right, I just went for a jog, and I noticed that the radish and the alfalfa sprouts are perfect, ready to eat. So I'm chowing down, and they're actually really good. They got, they taste like eating a radish, but like a little less spicy. But they do have that little peppery kick to them. They're, they're good. pretty good. I like them. I like the aftertaste too. All right, I am just working on decluttering the tops of things. They get cluttered really quick. I'm almost done, and I'm just rearranging things. I think these pumpkins are cute. I don't remember. I think I either got them from Target or Hobby Lobby, and I can't remember. Let me see the bottoms of them. I think it was Hobby Lobby. But they're cute. And yeah, I don't. I didn't buy anything else besides that. I'm just like rearranging things, I'm trying to make it look cleaner. I'm just tired, like cluttery. I don't know. Not really much. I just need to get the rest of this junk off. But decluttered a lot of things today. It's been feeling good. I decluttered my closet. I actually have someone coming over. Someone, Mindy McKnight, referred to me to help me with my outfits and clothes and just kind of style, like how to wear stuff for my body type and stuff. Because the last few times I've gone shopping, I've just kind of stood there staring at everything. And I've tried on a couple things and like they were just huge thumbs downs when I try them on and I was like how come I can't figure this out anymore and then I was like oh I know because I used to be in high school and I had no kids and hours and hours and hours and hours to shop like all I did was go to school do my homework work and then shop that was like my life <laughs> so I even got best dressed in high school so like I used to I just spend all my time at like Express in the mall and just buy everything and I was, I dressed cute. And now I just don't have time to try on things like I used to. Anyway, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I don't think that I'm horrible, but I just have a feeling that the moo moo's gonna have to go. That's the one thing I'm a little nervous about. I have a lot of funny clothes that I like, so we'll see what she says, but it'll be fun. Her name is Lindsay Shores, by the way, if you guys are interested. I am sitting here thinking how? Does the tops of the things get so dirty all the time and cluttery? And then I just realized it's because <laughs> whenever we want to get something away from the kids, we put it up high so they can't reach it. <laughs> I'm just realizing how ridiculous it is. This is my next thing I'm gonna tackle. That's ridiculous. And on the top of the fridge too. It's just anytime we're getting something away from the kids, it's like, nope, tuck it up high. <laughs> their quality holds up mm -hmm. and it looks like anthro kind of it's really cute but I definitely want to see this on yeah. because I'll put it on with this because you um, yeah I would too. love to see yeah I have pictures of this outfit too because we do a cool. Sunday picture every oh nice Sunday. yeah so, yeah cute is, is she uh, helpable can you how, how's <laughs> so things going in here <laughs> yeah I don't know I might be beyond repair not at all are you kidding me no. am I supposed to wear this no Yes, we're gonna put you into that. And Actually, Lindsay, do you know what her her biggest concern was? That, that she was gonna be all stylish, and I was gonna be like this. Mm -hmm. So that was her biggest yeah, concern. So okay, totally. Don't <laughs> worry. That's usually no, the funny. way it goes. Like, yeah. No, I'm working with yeah other husbands we'll and such. So totally. Okay. Get it. Take care of her I first. No, but yeah. he signed then up. Then we'll for talk. Like a Boys. Trendy butler. Trendy butler. They send you clothes oh, every month. Right, I right, don't know. Right, right, right. <laughs> I can tell you the difference between me and them after if you want. Okay, I want to hear it. <laughs> Dance.
You won? Yeah. Oh, good job. Watch EB dance. Dad, I, I've been pressing as hard as, hard as I want. I think I've hoop I don't know if you guys know the whole situation with it but we had our friend Matt install it but the place like Lifetime who we bought it from gave us all the wrong parts like the old style of the basketball hoop parts and so when we put it together it was like not working right so anyway they had someone they paid someone to come out and put all the right pieces and spacers and stuff in it and when he came out he was like oh one of your pistons right Piston I think so. That's what we've been calling. is broken, so you guys just need to call Lifetime and they'll get you some new ones. He's like, when you get them, just put a board under there. It's really easy, and you just switch them out. And so Davey was like, all right, sounds easy enough. So <laughs> these hands, they look like good, strong hands, don't they? Uh, hold on, I can't even see how bad they are. You guys. Anyway, let's just say it's been a couple hours, and everything is broken now <laughs> let's just say i'm really good at doing things where i can look up a tutorial on how mm -hmm. to do it but there is not this online anywhere well, yeah and i think that this just takes like brute strength because like what are you saying oh no like 10 men <laughs> the problem is i've only got the strength of five men yeah so if we need if we had two davies there it'd be fine but he just got little old me so he called the guy that well, let's go back it. a little bit to what <laughs> I wanted to do earlier. I thought if I could just get this up a little higher. But let's just tell everyone. April no, 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 don't touch if it. I would have lifted if it. If that could... board moves, this comes crashing down with nothing to hold it up all the way to that really heavy, like so 700 like... pound thing crashing down. So April's like, if you do that, it will come crashing down. It will slip right off. And I yeah. said, it's I like said, a orange on a toothpick. What did I say? Tell them what I said. <laughs> duct tape it. I said duct tape it on, then there's no slippage. I said there is no amount of duct tape that will keep you safe from that heavy of a back backboard. I just want to keep him alive, so I'm putting an X on the Anyways, project. Anyways, we're paying I the guy to come conceded. tomorrow. <laughs> I've been paying the guy to come and do it tomorrow. He said he'd oh, come out first. Oh, please thing don't in act like you knew what you were going to do next. Oh, no, I want to keep you happy. I probably could have figured something out. You're going to make everybody think I'm a jerk, and you know <laughs> that we sat out here for two years together. Two years. Two hours together trying to figure it out, and it was not working. And I, then. I think we. Then we broke it. I think we have to throw it away. <laughs> throw the whole well, thing away. Well, that was the broken one anyway. I know, he but said it's it was broken, way so. broken now. Anyway, do not try to make me look like the bad guy. Do you really think that you, like, you'd rather sit out here and fix it than I have the guy fix it? I thought maybe, no, it was a waste of my time, but I thought <laughs> the duct tape would have worked, but you're usually but right. even if, so. even if you survived the 700 pound thing not crashing down on your head with the two by four that you're trying to like, lift up and stick up another block under even if you survived that you still can't guarantee that it would be at the right height to fit those in yeah that's this is just rocking yeah science. yeah this so guy's... we're we're not dealing with it anymore the guy made it sound easy he's like yeah just prop it up pull it out pull them out stick it in you're done and it's been harder than that so yeah anyway funny okay now back to the closet i want to show you guys what my closet looks like now so what's really funny is that I already didn't like most of my clothes, so it was really easy to throw a lot of them away, and it didn't make me feel bad when she was like, yeah, that's too young or outdated. And I was like, well, I did buy it in high school, so. Okay, so I had all my exercise clothes like hanging in the closet, and we decided to not do that and just to put them in a drawer. But okay, so I'm down to a pair of 
capris and two skirts and there's my shirts that we kept these are all like undershirts and these are sweaters so yeah and I have a couple dresses so it's kind of like oh, I have this shirt that I was wearing today too because I like this one but it was kind of like You've been wearing stuff that is not the best or is like has holes in it or <laughs> stains for too long and so we threw it all away. And so I need to go shopping. She's gonna go shopping with me and I'm gonna hopefully get some awesome stuff and I'm excited but at least tomorrow when I wake up and I'm like, every day I wake up and I'm like, this closet was full and I was like, there's nothing to wear. Cause it A, didn't fit me or had holes or stained or like just, didn't look good so at least tomorrow when I get up and I'm like oh I have nothing to wear it will be true because <laughs> I really barely have nothing to wear but I'm excited she's awesome and it was really fun one question that she asked me about my clothes that was like really hard to answer she was like what style do you want to like go for like what do you want your style to be and I was just like oh stretch your pants and sweatshirt <laughs>